Sag, welcome back to Joya Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we'll jump into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Sag on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 6.20 p.m. Today is April 10th of 2024. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, I was hearing the countdown begins. Set an alarm for 12.48 midnight, and that breaks down to all 12s. But when that alarm goes off, I was hearing a cycle from 2016 comes to an end. So that's a whole eight-year cycle, right? So I'm hearing after this point, you're going to be sleeping happy. I'm also hearing money shot. I see somebody making a perfect shot from like a three-point line. Um, also then tomorrow is the 11th. I was hearing the 11th day at the 11th hour magic at dawn just like really good vibes also go back in your camera roll something about january 3rd could be coming back around may give you a clue as to what's ending just take it how it resonates then two days from now so you have all this good energy you have all these good vibes going you just ended a cycle it's almost something's very energetic you know because it's like spiritually if a cycle ends i feel like whoever was on the other end of that cycle they may feel it but in two days it's like all of a sudden i just see somebody causing a scene for example if you're a masculine energy like i see you chilling i see everything's good you got everything taken care of and then it's like some girl comes up and she's like like, oh like I'm pregnant you know but then I started to see Sarah from the Bible who got pregnant like at 90 years old so a part of me tell a part of it just seems like fictitious not saying that that's fictitious I'm just saying like it's kind of like uh what great timing you have right after we broke up now you're pregnant all of a sudden so you know just take everything with a grain of salt expect for your feathers to be ruffled in some way i feel like this is somebody in very close proximity to you somebody that's in your real actual life you know but i see them bringing drama i'm hearing you tried it also i'm seeing a situation also if you're a masculine energy and you're well off financially um this person may be trying to you know do certain things because of that or make certain arrangements because of that so be careful like who it is that you're dealing with here wow yeah i just saw the obelisk and it looked like um a phallus right there to me so just be careful i see somebody ah i don't know yeah it's giving like lychee energy um also you could have found out that whoever this is they could have been in a third party with one of your family members or a co-worker of yours of theirs i'm also seeing a situation where somebody doesn't act their age they gossip to their friends about like every little thing that you guys deal with yeah queen of wands here everything beneath the surface it's like people in close proximity know everything about it somebody's name could start could start with an n an m or an s you have hawaiian humpback whale getting pisces energy um could be significant with the whale here that's all about diving really deep um also hawaii hi i'm hearing hi 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 like somebody's constantly on the phone it's like two-thirds of everything that you guys have been through people in close proximity to this person know about it so i'm seeing heavy water energy heavy fire energy just take it how it resonates um yeah here you are king of pentacles with denali right here I feel like you're very structured in the way that you operate. You may think very long term, so you're very earthy. And somebody that's just like very, pa like not passionate even, it's just fiery and wallowing in the emotions. It's not gonna be a good match for you, you know? It's like, you're only willing to get so far. Like you're not trying to always be in the middle of the ocean, like with this person, you know, you have things to do on land. So I just see it's like every time they come up, they may get you off guard, off track. Just be careful of that also i'm hearing whoever this is i was hearing they're born a fury from a well of darkness they have a dark heart so save your energy i don't feel like this is somebody that you can change or this is somebody that you know like oh we can work on things and like in seven years it'll be better like no 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 what you see is very much what you get and if you need one last 
Ten of Pentacles, one last confirmation, Five of Cups on who or what this is. I was hearing go back in your camera roll, check your text, go back and do your due diligence. There's something about December 29th. Somebody could have had visitors or something about visitors could be significant. And they started showing me Ed, Ed and Eddie, the old cartoon show then i'm seeing a situation where it's like somebody was with ed ed and eddie i don't know if you're dating like an only fans person or like somebody that's into like miscellaneous activity um but yeah if there was something sketch about that day with this person whoever you have in mind if you have anybody at mind in mind at all because this may not be your part of the message you know just know that this is for a very large group of people um you'll get a clue from that day check your conversations more so than anything else but your camera roll maybe even your notes if you'd like to but uh december 29th will let you know you'll know you'll know yeah mm -hmm. three ed ed and eddie i'm seeing here with the eight of wands so just take it how it resonates um, okay, so moving forward, moving forward, don't let anybody rain on your parade. That's the overall message for that first, because the vibes are so good starting at midnight 48. I'm telling you, it's like you quantum leaped into all this like spiritual healing. And I see it's like you're levitating and all these colors. And it's like somebody just like, shoom, like they just bring you right back down to their frequency. I'm also seeing a hotel. It's a specific hotel. My mom stayed at last time she came to see me in Atlanta and it has like a big cylinder elevator that goes all the way up. Like I'm seeing you're all the way up there and then you got to take the elevator all the way back down just to meet this person where they're at, you know? so although i'm seeing it it's gonna come up in some way shape or form you don't have to let it affect you now that you're aware you can be you can prepare you know also another clue somebody could wear nine inch nails i'm seeing uh yellow long ass nails um but yeah nine of pentacles it's quite unfortunate because i feel like you maintain a very um how do you say it's not like a know-it-all disposition like you may not have graduated college you may not have a degree however i feel like you're very skilled intellectually you're very advanced you could be somebody who's your siblings maybe went to college and you took all their notes all their books and learned everything and you retain more than they than they did you know so it's like whatever your credentials are they don't add up to your expertise to your insight to your knowledge and i feel like a lot of people make the mistake of taking that you know not for what it is but overlooking that or thinking that you're not as smart as you are but i feel like that's where that's gonna come back to bite somebody in the ass so just take it how it resonates just continue to maintain your disposition i'm seeing something about the ox spirit animal i'm also seeing ox like an ox cord just listen to music relax yeah king of cups energy here through whatever it is that's going on um on north carolina okay moving forward something about these locations i was hearing belfast seeing the mediterranean but i'm thinking of the mediterranean diet you could be incorporating more greens into your diet and so on and so forth also hearing athens something about greece or georgia athens georgia could be significant seeing something about japan china i'm seeing something about the red sea some of you going back to belfast i'm hearing break fast like breaking your fast you could have just ended ramadan here congratulations if you did some of you <laughs> some of you could study marine oh wow look at all these bears some of you have really if you study anything that i'm about to mention you guys have some really great opportunities coming in with these three bears it's reminding me of the aquarius reading this happens fast you know so there may be some type of opportunity for you to take advantage of yeah um i'm also hearing something that's just perfectly for you Something about the next six days could be significant. If you are a marine biology, marine biologist, you study chemistry, engineering, um, chiropractic, or you study being, you're trying to be a chiropractor, anything involving patterns. I'm also saying something about a dog breeder. Some of you may be getting a dog soon, but yeah, I feel like you guys have new beginnings. I'm also seeing this old scholastic kids book on the Fibonacci sequence. So I'm also seeing like science, I'm seeing NASA, um, things of that nature. You may get some type of scholarship opportunity. Just take it how it resonates, okay? 
moving forward um this message i'm seeing a situation where you may go try to get an opinion about your health from a certain place and i see it's like you already have a gut feeling about this the staff i see the staff is like kind of sketchy you know i would trust your intuition because i'm seeing somebody yeah three of swords diagnose you it says kate or cape hateras cape hateras whatever but i'm seeing like somebody in a cape that's supposed to save the day but hats always symbolize like playing a different role i feel like it's almost like somebody's not qualified or if they are they're not doing what they need to do in order to get to the bottom of something so they're just kind of like diagnosing you with whatever however i feel like whatever it is that they're saying is wrong with you there's a natural cure or remedy for that so just make sure you're protecting yourself make sure you're getting not only a western opinion but a holistic one as well and maybe even another one as well on top of that because i see somebody freaking out about something stressed out about something that doesn't call for that at all it's a very quick fix i'm seeing dr said um dr sebi just take it how it resonates um you may work with children who are from a different culture uh cultural background or they may have a different language barrier however i see these are very gifted and advanced students you may be the only one that realizes it because you're the only one that's able to communicate but i see extremely advanced students keep working with them if you resonate with that yeah eight of swords in reverse Wow, it says something about fossils of animals that lived 23 to 35 million years ago. For some of you, you may be working with children with like very old and wise souls. If it's not like a language barrier, it's just maybe you're the only one that's able to see the wisdom in such like a small body or like a quote unquote small mind. But keep working with them, keep developing. I'm hearing the skills and the confidence that they need in order to like conquer whatever it is that they need to do, even if that's like the next grade like second grade <laughs> you make a difference never um never think that you don't uh, moving forward i'm hearing your heart desires a loving relationship some of you um i have fendi written down right next to that so it's like maybe your heart desires some type of relationship however it's like you're not able to take time off work and in, in, in order to let yourself like submerge yourself into an actual relationship it's like yeah ace of swords when we split the, <laughs> oh my god what the hell ace of swords when we flip it over and it says hot spring so it's like you desire emotions you desire heat you desire passion i'm hearing steam as well but like Fendi here is like you also desire like nice things and you desire working for things and earning certain things so it's hard for you to kind of pick and choose yeah three of pentacles I feel like work always takes seniority over everything else however I do see a portal opening to where you may have more room more time to invite a little bit more steam in you know um I just saw 13 13 right there May meet somebody in the next three days for some of you something about these names could be significant freddie um henry shauna or shana ashanti misty and mika i'm also hearing mika as well um i need to look up these dates to see how they tie in some of you may play soccer i'm hearing fifa uh just take how it resonates so moving forward in your members reading for your eclipse reading i was seeing something about like the in between between the living and the dead and i was seeing something about a graveyard you may be visiting a graveyard here if it's not like a literal graveyard i see you go to a place every day whether it's to hike whether it's to just walk in nature, enjoy the forest here, but maybe you're not aware on um, like what's underneath where you are. There's something very divine about you walking through that place though, the Dinosaur National Monument. Like you may all of a sudden have downloads. I feel like you think it's just cause, oh, I'm like out in nature and I'm like outside. I'm just getting on these downloads from the sunshine, but no, it's like you're walking on like ancient burial grounds or like really old burial grounds and even like the trees like you're just hearing the communication like all around you so make sure that like one you're aware of that and two um you just understand like where it's actually coming from you see all the the bones right here yeah 
Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. Yeah, I like you can't tell, but I'm something goes like 300 feet down. So something's been there for a long time, or things have been built on top of whatever these lands, these grounds, or this park is for a long time. So interesting. You pet, yeah, look, five of wands, petrified forest. Now I ruined it for you because now you're going to be in there like. <laughs> I see you guys just like shaking, but no, to take this a step further, I see 225. The last reading that I did was the time was 225. Also the Aries reading, Reconciliations, Apologies, 225. This may be like where you go in order to connect with your guides with the Seven of Cups here. One more thing I want to mention, it says the King's Canyon. So it's no telling what may be underneath you. It could be something like very respected, you know? So um, yeah, just keep that in mind if it's not something that freaks you out. Uh, let's move forward now to the rest of your messages there's a divine sisterhood coming in and i was hearing it's going to help you to become something new i was hearing the word alta which is tall in spanish or like taller and when i think about taller i think of your spine you know standing straight up so something about your confidence could be significant you may meet a very funny girl i'm hearing freaky but mighty not in like a sexual way i just feel like maybe somebody's just a little bit different or they have like a different vibe to them could be i'm seeing capricorn energy scorpio energy maybe even aquarius energy but they're funny that's how you'll know who they are but i'm hearing funny freaky and mighty it's reminding me of like um an, a kid's show like that one random character i don't know moving forward I see somebody falling. This may go back into what we were talking about before. I see somebody falling, but it's like, you're always having to come save many people. I don't feel like it's just one person. It may be many people. Whatever that is, you may have to take yourself out of that position. I see there's too much or too many people dependent on you. I have one more weird message here. I was hearing the audacity to have hope. You, yeah, nine of wands, Queen of Pentacles. You may have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, feminine energy around you. Crater Lake here. When I think about craters, when it comes to personification, it makes me think of somebody with like, um, somebody that struggles with like skin problems. This may give you a clue as to who this is, or maybe they did in the past. Maybe they have like insecurities from that. But if you're Queen of Wands, here you are way off in the deep i'm hearing that song rolling in the deep by adele if you're sharing your trials tribulations traumas and whatever it may be here with the nine of wands like whatever it is that's stressing you out whatever it is that you're thinking about i feel like this person may not be the right person to share your emotions with this is a taurus virgo capricorn feminine energy also it says nms Somebody's name could start with an N, M, or an S, or this could be somebody's entire initials here. But yeah, this is a warning. Um, I feel like if not now, eventually this friendship will probably collapse and you will wish that you didn't share as much as you did if you had like hindsight, you know, when the time comes. So I would just kind of go ahead and like zip it now yeah king of cups here like don't be talking about your love life don't be talking about your plans don't be talking about it says 72 peaks don't even, you can't even talk about your happiness for real you just want to keep it like light if at all you know yeah seven of cups there so let's move forward let's go ahead and get into your reading let me see anything else oh one more message i may run into some some of you like i was hearing in three days because um when i went back to that day on january 3rd one of my clients renata she's in a different country i believe but she sent me a photo of these shoes but the brand was called joya like it was it literally it was like a shoe and it said joya she was mad cool so um it reminded me of that virgo reading in three days big shoes to fill but yeah i may like actually run into 
any of you in like the next three days so if that happens hi like say hi <laughs> i don't bite during the day no i'm just kidding <laughs> um god bless let's get into your reading oh those dates that we need to look up ah god bless thank you and i didn't even have a pen in here we open right back up to the page so those dates must be important um let me see here we'll go from it's 6 40 there's that 6 4 again that 604 a storm is brewing sagittarius energy and my shirt as well so yeah something's definitely brewing i also feel like this is the internal of somebody else whoever is coming to you with um this shock or this like shake up with your other otherwise like very calm time all right so let's see significance what year is that 1997 okay significance of 1997 it says the big moments 1997 gave us buffy the vampire slayer and took away Notorious B.I.G., Gianni Versace, and Princess Diana. We lost three legends in 97? Mm. Um, Ireland granted its first legalized divorce. Ireland reminds me of my last Gemini reading, um, all about Dante and his Inferno, so you may want to check that out. Um, but yeah, Ireland granted its first legalized divorce. The world got its earliest camera phone and functioning Wi-Fi, and Ellen DeGeneres made history by coming out on Ellen. Okay, interesting. I have a Buffy the Vampire deck. I'm going to grab that. Also, we have one more date to look up before I forget. Um, so Vampire Slayer, that means you're slaying whatever this vampiric energy is. So congratulations to you. And let's see. Let's see. So in 1935, it says American aviator Howard Hughes flies the Hughes H1 racer, sets an airspeed record of 352. Uh, the Nuremberg laws go into effect in Germany, removing citizenship from, from Jews. Manuel L. Quezon is elected second president of the Philippines. All right, so something about aviation could be significant, planes. Um, I'm also seeing this is like um, messages coming at you quickly, you know. It sets a speed of 352, like I see somebody racing to get into, into communication with you. Whether it's the same energy from two days from now or not, we'll see. Um, I do feel like whatever that is may be on the 13th though. So I feel like the chaos is on the 12th. This is on the 13th. So you may be quick, you may be chaotic, but whatever this blessing is, it's quicker, you know? So like I said, don't let that affect you too much. Germany may be significant on the 15th as well. The Philippines may be significant on April 17th. Um, let me see anything else for Sagittarius. There's one more thing. Oh, the Buffy deck. Let's grab that. That one jump in. These pants are a bit big, so I'm just gonna take my time. I've had them since high school, but they just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh. Your birthday could be December 4th, December 19th, December 20th, if so. Um, watch that Aquarius reading. This happens fast. You guys have something coming in for you really fast. Um, also beware, I'm hearing Venus flytrap. That also feels like that, that energy. For some of you, um, I feel like during Aries season, I'm seeing this one Aries reading. Hold on, let me find it real quick. And then I'll grab the deck and then we'll jump back in. It's Aries, it's like overnight overnight success, international yes. endeavors. 
this one right here so i feel like that's going to be for you during aries season and if that's the case if you have endeavors make sure you keep focus on that when you're on your brink of success that's when the devil comes in to test you you know and the devil comes in the form of people not red lights not green eyes not any of that it comes in the people that you know and you love you know so just make sure that you stay on your p's and q's when it comes to distractions be able to differentiate use your discernment use your intuition sag is very intuitive you have no you have no like excuse not to be able to know what's what all right we've been here for three years now seven of pentacles you need to go back in your playlist look at some old videos do what you need to do but we gotta, we gotta catch up gotta catch up yeah three of wands you have a lot at stake it literally says three of stakes here okay the star in reverse and it's not to be tampered with especially in your period and your season of healing all right because i feel like you guys have done a lot of self-work especially from um i'm hearing the last what month are we in april i'm hearing since the end of january to april you've been doing lots of healing lots of work so like the last three months or so don't ten of pentacles in reverse don't let anybody tamper with that i'm also hearing like tampering with evidence you see that tampering with your things you know so don't let anybody disrupt your peace okay yeah let's go ahead and get into it lovers you could be dealing with the gemini here the next three days all right shuffle for sag what's going on i'm here let's get it on maybe something started like passionate sexual and somebody just turned crazy seven seven <laughs> like here i wish we never did it and i wish we never loved it and i wish i never fell so deep in love with you and now it ain't no way we can be friends and all i could say is na 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 i'm hearing that what song is that <laughs> I wish I never fell so deep in. Okay, here we go. Trey Songs can't be friends. Isn't he a Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken? Interesting. Okay, shuffle for Sag. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, you have the King of Wands. You're coming out strong. This does feel very masculine. You could be a feminine energy taking on very masculine energy, but either way, um, the King of Wands did come out with a chariot. So you're moving forward. You're moving forward into some type of judgment. However, although this looks grand, this looks phenomenal, this looks like what you've been waiting for with the judgment here, it all feels very divine. And it is very divine. There is something here. You see? You see my dog going in the room. There's something here with the Ace of Swords in reverse that you have not called judgment on, you know? So there is something that in other words, needs to be dealt with here before you can really move forward into this rainbow, into this calling. And the time is now. You see, he's been seized here. You see that Ten of Swords? That's a shakeup. That is literally like God, like Sagittarius, you must do this type thing. You know, I'm hearing Bruce Almighty. Um, let me get confirmation on that. Shuffle for Sag. And if you're unaware of what this is after looking at the dates on the 29th, if you're still unaware after listening to this Rocky Mountain here, anything that brings you turbulence or anything that comes in and disrupts your peace in two days, that's how you'll know what needs to be removed in order for you to move forward into your truth without all this Rocky energy. Seeing, um, for some of you, if you're a masculine energy, you could this could be a friendship with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces masculine energy, specifically Cancer with the horse right there. Maybe there's something that you tried to go 
forward within a business partnership and you try to collaborate with this king of cups but what maybe for some of you this is a solo enterprise i only see one person on this chariot you know and both guides supporting that one person so and you see how he's just like grazing in the grass like he has all the time in the world you know doesn't mind these rocky mountains but you're like no nah, i gotta move forward so some of you this is a business partnership that you're kind of like cutting the cord with in order for you to move in the way that you need to move in the way that you know and you're being told to move because with that bear on top of this eagle which i just recognized the aquarius reading this moves fast this is happening fast so so you gotta speed it up you know so anything slowing you down it must go 30 on the dot right now it's time to make your decisions and it's time to decide like what's important to you you know what can wait and what needs to happen right now ah split the deck look who do we have here the motherfucking bear some of you are dealing with an aquarius here but yeah something about to happen mad fast you guys hella fast hella fast I keep hearing Belfast. Where is that? And look, look on the bottom of the deck. You have peace, but look at the top. You have two days of peace before somebody tries to come and rain on your parade on this third day. Look at them. Look at them waiting on it. I'm seeing the chalk that they spread in that movie, The Skeleton Key, and it's like this red brick dust that's supposed to keep your enemies away from you. It's almost like they've been standing here, like, and there's dust so they can't get to you, but then on that third day, the dust is swept away or your protection is swept away. I don't know. Maybe you have, like, some type of evil eye that you wear. I'm seeing it break, and then all of a sudden, and here this person comes it's something eerie like that it's like the moment my protection bracelet broke not saying that i put all my faith in a bracelet you know i i don't personally like my faith is in my guides but say for example like your protection bracelet breaks and then all of a sudden this person's like hitting you up calling you you haven't talked to them and you're like yo like i i don't know i need something what what was i doing i was about to look up something Ooh, I wish we were on live. I forgot what I was doing. <sighs> Belfast. Oh, capital of Northern Ireland. So yeah, definitely watch that uh, Dante and his Inferno. It's 13 hours and 20 minutes from here. Bear. Hi, I'm going to take you outside in a minute, Papa, okay? You've been so patient today. I appreciate you. It says Belfast is Northern Ireland's capital. It was the birthplace of the RMS Titanic, which famously struck an iceberg and sunk in 1912. That shit was chilling. And then all of a sudden, here comes the iceberg, right? Now everybody's in the ocean. Not to make light of a horrible situation, I'm just saying like that's what this person feels like energetically. This legacy is recalled in the renovated dockyards Titanic Quarter, which includes the Titanic Belfast, an aluminum clad museum reminiscent of a ship's hull, as well as shipbuilder Harlan and Wolf's drawing offices and the Titanic slipways, which now hosts open air concerts. Okay, great. Um, also, I see 444, Expect the Unexpected. Got a couple of readings I'll put in the description box below. But yeah, something about Belfast or Ireland could be significant. Maybe they're gonna bring up some more stuff from the Titanic soon, more discoveries, we'll see. Anyway, this piece on the bottom of the deck, two days of peace, two days of peace. Here they come with the bullshit. That's what I wanted to title this, Here They Come With The Bullshit. For some of you, if you're a feminine energy, it could be a little less sinister. I'm seeing somebody that like, you're just trying to chill. You're just trying to real enjoy life and relax. And you could have somebody that's constantly just trying to be in a relationship with you or possibly make plans with you. They're like, what about now? It's like, you're chilling for the next two days. You're enjoying your peace. And then you got this guy. He's like, hey, um, so sad. Did you, uh, you could be dealing with the Gemini. Did you think about like what I asked you? you just, did you think about that date? Sag, hello? I'm seeing him text you like three times. <laughs> oh man. Shuffle for Sag. I 
want I want to see how can we deal with this issue okay we pinpointed the issue how can we eradicate it for good let's see shuffle for Saj. how can we maintain this position of peace is what I'd love to know beautiful beautiful okay so wow interesting you're walking into a kindred partnership here maybe that's why you're especially if you're not in one right now you could be craving your peace more than ever because the closer that you get to this the more aligned that you guys are vibrationally spiritually you know like if this is the case so it's like the more that you're aligned with this whether you're aware of it or not the more you're going to be like unaligned with other things that you've already kind of deemed you know not in alignment with you for lack of better words here but yeah you have milestones coming in you have your ascended masters here as well so like i said you're entering these new beginnings i see a lot of things for you being locked down in that sixth and seventh month um it's like your guides take complete control of the situation in june and july and you're gonna see a lot of things change i'm hearing whirlwind energy there but for the time being before this good stuff comes in before these milestones before you know you're getting all these helping hands from all these different directions every direction possible you have north south east and west right before that you're gonna have this come and test you you know it's just it's law it's law no matter who you are no matter what your position is no matter how big how small it's law it always goes that way the story goes the same history repeats itself you know Yeah, so Ace of Swords, it's all about like figuring out how we can shift this to where it's less of a problem. Like, how can you go about protecting yourself? Is this a situation where you maybe need the law involved? You know, snitches get stitches, but God damn, why is she at the door again? <laughs> you know, like we might have to snitch today on this one. She is not getting it. Yeah, I don't know. You may have to take, like, you may have to really six of pentacles. Even, hold on one second. Ooh, some of you may have to move here. Look, 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 look. First of all, look at how this home or this base is in the middle of the ocean. So that tells me about like needing to completely seclude yourself in order to get this person to stop showing up at your door or however they're showing up. You literally have to put yourself in the middle of the ocean. So whatever that means for you, whether that's submerging yourself completely in you know what makes you emotionally fulfilled so that you just completely tone it or tune it out or if this is a serious situation you may have to literally move you may have to literally move somewhere else hopefully not but it may be what's best for you and if that's the case then i hope for that for you but what i'm seeing right here it says the battleship uss arizona was sunk during japan's bombing of pearl harbor in 1941 the surprise attack spurred the u.s into world war ii so i'm seeing surprise attack in that two days that we keep talking about nearly 900 men are entombed in the ship and you know what else i'm getting whoever this is whether you're masculine whether you're feminine they do the same thing to everybody like anybody that you run into with a story with this person they will have the exact same story so it's like you're not alone in this sense you just got to figure out how did they eradicate this problem you know how did they become a thing of the past and move yourself into that position maybe some of you you're way too nice you're way too giving you're too understanding you're too you know you're too i'm hearing loosey-goosey with the boundaries here and right now calls for very strict boundaries with this energy shuffle for Saj. whether it's an ex it feels like an ex yeah boyhood memorial some something from your past six of cups here let's see um let's see. for some of you if you're a feminine energy this could be a same sex female close friend here i am seeing the moon i'm seeing cancer i'm seeing pisces here i see a lot of like 
under the surface. If not those signs, I see this Queen of Pentacles coming out once again. This could be somebody that you grew up with here. But it's like, I feel like you guys kind of grew apart. Maybe this person, I'm seeing their skin, something about the skin in their youth here could be significant. I'm also seeing, I'm looking at this Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands. Like, you guys have grown apart. It's like who you knew back then is not the same person who this is now. And I see you trying to really hold on to the history. So just be careful of that. Yeah. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords right here. Desert, rocks, bad lands. Like there's nothing much else like of use to you that can come from this dynamic. So whether it's an ex and you're a masculine energy, whether it's a friend and this is same sex, either way, it's bringing like way too much negativity um, to all the positivity that you have going on here. Therefore, it must go. Liquidation, everything must go. Aries playlist, two years ago. Check it out, okay? Mm -hmm. it's like you're trying to like maintain like your how do you say um like heroic dis disposition and like everyone's story and everyone's book stop it's like you're trying to maintain the status quo of being like i'm here in captain save ho king of wands whether you're a female or a male it doesn't matter but stop you know like you can be the villain now in somebody's book whoever's book as long as if that means you're protecting yourself you can be the villain shuffle for sag don't let anybody put requirements on you you put requirements on you you know don't let anybody put expectations on you you put expectations on you shuffle for sag anything else it's giving me like the Medusa vibes from that Medusa reading. No is a full sentence. Stop trying to be everybody's hero, you know, and be your own hero. Like, I don't know what, but Sag, this expansion that you're about to experience in the next couple of months in June and July 2024 specifically is for you okay that is for you be authentic in reverse and the people who are being authentic with you and around you so anything that gets pushed to the side at this time it's clearly not in its most in its most authentic form and that is what you do <laughs> i almost said divorce that is what you deserve on whatever capacity it comes in friendship in love and relationships and partnerships in um i'm hearing professorships just whatever it is you deserve to be around like authenticness if that's a word you have 17 in reverse you could be dealing with an aquarius here or all in all whatever this is is just affecting your ability to heal your ability to stretch your ability to expand you know i'm also hearing your ability to think shuffle for sag anything else it's time for you to be excited about life. And like I said, as soon it's like it's energetic. As soon as you're happy, as soon as you cut that cord, it's like something else or somebody else could feel it. And they just come back like a yo-yo or like a boomerang, like right back there. Right back there. Back there again. So um we are seeing them. They will be appearing in two days, but how you handle it is everything. How you deal with it is you know, that's the real question. Come back to center, tower. Yeah, and whatever this is, like say for example, uh, it's the 10th right now, they come in on the 12th, by the 16th, you're good again, you know? So if this is something that affected you for a long period of time before, or if this is something that inconveni inconvenienced you, in like a really dramatic way before it's not gonna have that same effect it's gonna be like something that's a nuance for sure but it's not gonna stop anything it's not gonna rock anything you're gonna shake and bake and continue forward yeah queen of swords right here everglades and the eight of swords badlands for some of you it could be gemini libra aquarius gotta close the door on a situation it says the Everglades are actually a shallow river, 50 miles wide, that is dotted with tiny wooded islands. 
shallow. Yeah. Let me see anything else. I think that's it. I think that's it. You have 888. And after this process or after this phase, after whatever this is, I see um, a turning point for you. I want to get one more card from this Buffy Temperance. We split on Temperance. I want to get one more card from this Buffy deck that we pulled. And then we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here today. I apologize that it's taken so long. Everything in divine timing. I cannot rush the timing. I cannot change the timing. I can only catch the timing, you know. So whenever you don't see a reading for you and a timing that you want, just go to your playlist, watch a title that resonates. All the videos are timeless or go to the season that we're in. So right now we're in Aries season. Go to that playlist and find a title that resonates. Both of those should work for you, okay? Any last messages for Sad before we get out of here? okay okay yeah on members wow i never noticed this before on members i think it was whose part of the reading was that where we were talking about like a friend who's like recording things inappropriately or like recording things that they shouldn't just to have you know to do weird things with later i'm just looking at um I'm just looking at this guy right here with the little camera in his hand and it's giving me that same vibe once again with the two of wands and the knight of wands just know like in two days prepare to like have your sword maybe those sword readings are coming through as, as well in two days prepare to like for this conversation or whatever it is because like i said it's gonna come through no matter what it's just about how you deal with it and how you move forward from there that's gonna be the test okay king of cups so god bless thank you sag i will see you guys next time it'll be a lot sooner obviously we're past the eclipse the astrological new year you know we're in here like swimwear so <laughs> god bless some of you could be going like on a boat or something soon I am seeing like bikinis and swim attire, aquatics. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing the aquarium in Atlanta. You may go to an event, like a private event at a really nice place, like at an aquarium. They used to have some events there sometimes. It's a warning. So make sure if you're like online shopping, just go ahead and get like a little outfit, a little dress tucked away for a rainy day. Cause I do see a little, um, shindig i'm hearing i never say that word a little shindig coming up for y'all so have a good time come back and let me know love you so much and i'll see you next time